Well, fake Sagan and subnormal. Um, I will um, reply to you the same way I replied to Cap No Awesome. I am the, uh, this is the practitioner here, by the way, Bachelor of Science student, chemistry major, mathematics minor, magician, parapsych research, uh, researcher, technical agnostic, and Fortean skeptic. I agree with you that religion uh, is completely illogical and as, uh, you know, as, has, uh, uh, you know, is entirely inappropriate. However, I will also quote a particular, uh, the guy who, wrote the, who writes the um, atheism blog at about.com. He said, it was correct, uh, he said quite clearly, it is appropriate to call, an, a to call a philosophical system which uh, irrational. However, it is inappropriate to call the followers of that system irrational and idiots. That's what's called an ad hominem attack. Okay? And uh, the thing is that um, just because uh, somebody can't pick it up, there is a possibility for people to hyper compartmentalize. For example, a religious guy replied to your, uh, replied to your um, video. Uh, and he said, "Well, what uh, if you want to uh, if you want to see about uh, irrationality? What about the fact that you say that athe uh, What about atheism not having done anything wrong, or or uh, about people having uh, you know about massive atrocities, uh, blaming religion for massive uh, for the root of all evil, and then conveniently forgetting uh, what Stalin did in the name of atheism? That too is a blind spot. Uh, so by that logic, you too would be dumb. However, I'm not going to stoop to that." And I'm not going to say that religious people are stupid either. What they are is they're having a hyper-compartmentalization. And worse off, this is what scares me more, and actually this also equally scares me on your guys' behalf, uh, you know, on your guys' side, is a um, compartmentalization to believe that their idea is right and everyone else is wrong. Or more specifically, um, to evaluate and criticize other people's arguments but not to evaluate their own. To, um, you know, uh, to say, that, you know, uh, to say booyah and, you know, that it was, uh, you know, that the... That therefore, uh, well, if the person who is uh, who's still stuck, stuck to their religion has a willful ignorance, it is possible in some cases that these people genuinely don't know or genuinely don't think to actually take a look at it. How many Christians genuinely actually read the Bible? How many people on the atheistic side genuinely read, you know, some of the uh, more uh, some of the more important stuff? I mean, probably you and Captain No Awesome and the like actually read, uh, you know, Richard Dawkins' The God Delusion and the like. But how many people in the day-to-day -day lives actually go out and read these books? Or how many people uh, in, you know, in day-to-day, -day, or more uh, particular, how many people in day-to-day -day actually go to college and get an introduction to critical thinking classes? How many people actually know the logical fallacies? How many people actually know, um, you know, how to debunk an argument? Chances are, the, from your day-to-day, -day uh, your average, your average day-to-day -day person probably doesn't know. Evidence of that. I've got a whole bunch of people uh, in my response to Captain Awesome when I pointed out just a um, uh, you know a stereotyping uh, tactic that he was using on Wiccans, uh, you know, sort of like good argument against the against the philo philosophical system, bad way of going about it. Um, anyway, when I pointed this out on him, um, less than a couple of months later, I'm getting a whole bunch of spams of people calling me a faggot for no good reason. You know, uh, and when I say it's an ad hominem attack, um, apparently they don't know what that is and proceed to continue uh, going even worse. So, and these are non-religious people. These are, you know, fellow agnostics and atheists who are doing this in some cases, and in some cases, religious people. But, you know, it seems to be a mix of the two. Um, so, you know, it doesn't really make sense in a lot of cases. Um, you know, I mean, Captain Awesome has been uh, guilty of dealing of doing this before, too. Um, you know, I've been guilty of doing this from time to time, too, and I've had to wait for other people to correct me uh, on occasion, and... Believe me, when I as soon as I see the comments correcting my arguments, I try to adapt them as you know as quickly as possible. But the same thing goes here. Um, calling people idiots uh, just because they happen to believe in something is a ad hominem attack, and it's not a good way to uh, you know to say that you know it's blindingly obvious that religion is a you know is a um, is at fault. I like the way how they dealt with the um, I like the way how they dealt with. Um, uh, you know how they dealt with religion in this comment by you know by saying the uh, you know the bad track record the you know the why should I believe you after Santa Claus um, well actually there is one small problem with that uh, why should I believe you after Santa Claus uh, question and that's not for uh, belief in God but just belief in general um, if you if a child says to their parents why should I uh, to adults why should I believe in you after Santa Claus well theoretically speaking um, you know, by asking that same question, uh, you shouldn't just apply that to religion. You should also apply that to anything else that a uh, that a parent or any adult writes. Therefore, as you grow up as an adult, you should reject anything uh, your parents tell you, and that includes science. Um, that particular question is a uh, uh, is a slightly erroneous one. Uh, the other stuff in there, really great. Um, and fake Sagan and uh, like I said, fake Sagan and uh, 
and uh, uh, and uh, subnormal. Uh, also, people uh, calling people uh, uh, you know wanting Christian dumbasses, uh, wanting it uh, taken down. Um, to call a Christian a dumbass uh, would be like me trying to call an atheist a dumbass, or you know, or a Christian trying to call you a dumbass just because he does so, or calls you delusional like the other video reply you got here does. Uh, does not necessarily mean that it's true. I don't think you're delusional, but at the same time, I don't think the Christian's a dumbass either. So you know, it's sort of like I think that what's happened is that, that genuinely, um, you know, there's you know, there's blind spots on both sides. I think that there does need to be a little bit of modification and arguments on both sides here. I actually went to the religious guy's video and I chewed him out as well for having uh, for having put proof in a couple of spots where, um, like for example, his uh, quoting the Bible as proof, saying that God is I am and therefore uh, is uh, you know is is um, is not bound by his own physical laws and the like. Uh, I pointed out to him that just because he says the Bible says it is does not constitute proof, and he needs more proof. You know, and the, and now I'm commenting on you guys saying that. Um, Yes, religion is illogical. However, simultaneously, um, going about uh, you know calling people a bunch of dumbasses and uh, you know and saying that you know that you have contempt for them and the like, or just simply saying that uh, uh, you know that it only takes an idiot to uh, to believe in this sort of thing, is a ad hominem attack, and it's not effective. Uh, you know, it's not an effective way of dealing with things. Uh, if you're wanting to deal, if you're wanting to get a religious person out of their mindset, genuinely give them an education in logic. If they you know if they don't have the you know just as, you know, just rather than write. Besides, there's a problem with uh, writing off religious people just as idiots right off the bat. If you re if you just simply reject them as idiots, then you're not going to give them the time of day to try to help them get out of their religious path. Like even though even if re religion is blatantly obvious, I have dealt with a whole bunch of people. Um, you know, say for example on another scientific issue, global warming. Uh, the evidence on this one is pretty well in. I have met some non-religious people who are still adamant, uh, who still adamantly believe that global warming is non-existent. Period. I have had through the better part of you know, and you know, does that mean that they're stupid? No, they, you know, they 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 they're atheists, but they uh, happen to have a blind spot when it comes to data on this for uh, reasons of their other belief systems. Um, uh, prominent examples of this are Penn and Teller bullshit on their show on environmentalism. Uh, you know, they're saying like some people don't, uh, you know, don't even believe that global warming exists because of the scientific data. But um, if they'd actually taken a look at what the peer-reviewed literature is saying, the data was pretty well conclusively in on this one that there is something as global warming. And um, what the actual scientific data on on this is saying is that we have exacerbated, we have sped up an already existing natural phenomena by supersaturating the atmosphere with too much CO2. Uh, you know, um, we've basically sped up a reaction that was supposed to take 10,000 years. Um, we sped it down to a couple of centuries. So anyway. Um, that pretty much, uh, you know, that's pretty much the effect. Uh, you know, again, the evidence is pretty well clear on this one. But I've had to explain this to other, you know, to other agnostics and atheists, and uh, you know, who people who appear rational. Um, but they uh, will, you know, will deliberately like even. Uh, here's a quote from one of them. Um, I posted the exact uh, physical laws and everything else as to how this works. You know, absorption of infrared radiation, release of that is heat due to vibration. Uh, that heat raises the temperature overall, which ends up uh, increasing the melting, po uh, the amount of melting of both ice caps and of the evaporation of water. Cur uh, um, you know, and of course, you know, speeding up of the uh, env uh, of the weather processes, courtesy of the increased vapor pressure through the ideal gas laws. PV equals nRT. Um, the guy said, "You're not giving any proof. You're only espousing known chemical laws. Show me the proof of how this, you know, of how this works." And I'm going like, "The rate is already known. This is already known evidence." I told my chem professor about this, and he said the guy was he said the guy was completely irrational about this because you know uh, you know um, if he's expect you know what sort of uh, if he if he's saying that I'm espousing by unknown chemical law you know by espousing known chemical laws well everything works by known chemical laws that's the whole pro, pro, uh, that's the whole pro, uh, point of the argument um, so anyway you know um, and, and this guy you know he just kept going on for you know for weeks on end about this. You know, and trying to, and then he, and then even he resorted to uh, ad hominem attacks to try to get me to shut up. Uh, you know, to ca contradict his viewpoint. Uh, here's another one. There's another guy I know, and he's a guy I play Ars Magica with every week. He's uh, not really a Christian. He's a, um, you know, he considers himself to be a, you know, to be a hyper scientific type. But here's the thing. He, um, despite him being a hyper scientific type, he's a political conservative, and he actually believes that uh, that global warming is entirely a natural phenomena. And when I point out to him what the actual uh, scientific evidence is, he dismisses it with an ad hominem circumstantial, saying, "Oh, those scientists were paid by the government to uh, get uh, to get the government to provide carbon tax credits to take away people's hard-earned money." And the thing is that you know that's that's you know that's called an ad hominem attack circumstantial. And here's the thing. 
even if uh, the government was wanting to do that for carbon tax credits solely, what, uh, who's benefiting more? Uh, who would be benefiting more from that? The carbon tax, you know, but the thing is, and the thing is, you know, he completely rejected the actual scientific data out of hand just by dismissing the scientists for working by, for government. More in the next video.